So I, um, I'm gonna, hello, it's Heather from Artist Live today. Um, it is Monday the 8th of May. Uh, we're gonna be sharing some tags that we, that I created. Uh, one was actually, the original was actually done on a little women's weekend. Um, so I had limited supplies, what I had, but um, it turned out actually quite nice. So we are going to play around with the Tim Holtz, the Oxide inks, um, along with some Graphic 45. And these are all items that I had picked up at uh, Scrapbooking With Me. It's an online um, scrapbook store. And uh, there's a Facebook group and there's an online site and such. And Yasmin, who is moderating, hello, Julianne. Um, Yasmin, who's moderating, she's going to share all the links and stuff in case anybody needs to go shopping. Um, happy National Scrapbooking Day th this last weekend, so hopefully everybody got to um, be creative. So, oh, Joanne, I, I actually was with Maggie Harding for the weekend, who is a huge G45 person, and uh, she's very inspirational, let me say that. She... Uh, I don't um, do much with Graphic 45, but she's she's she kind of influenced me. So, um, so I'm gonna actually flip the camera and uh, hello Phyllis, how are you? Um, flip the camera and we're gonna actually get started. So we're gonna attempt to do two tags tonight or today. It's um, during the day here, um, and just to kind of play around. So let me flip the camera and we will. Go from there. So bear with me here. Actually, I was working on another project <laughs> while I was waiting. So let me get that out of the way. And I'm going to have to turn that light off, I think. How is that, guys? Okay. So we are going to play with the Tim Holtz etc tags. Now if anybody has played with these, I'm going to just show you the comparison to start out. So this is the large one. Okay, it barely even fits on my screen. If you notice that, I to move my camera or my, this is the small one. We are actually going to be playing with the medium one. And these things are very, these are ginormous. So if that gives you any type of idea how how big they are. And this one is actually even bigger than a standard tag. Ooh, I hope I don't bounce in and out of fuzziness. That's going to irritate me. Yeah, the tags are huge. And actually, just to forewarn you, on this big tag, um, you may have to pay extra shipping because it doesn't actually fit in a conventional shipping box. Yeah. So if, just so you all know, that's how that is. So I wanted to show you that. Um, we are going to work with a, where is the link to the show? Um, let me just link this here. I have to link artists. Okay, somebody is texting me. Um, <laughs> just a second, sorry guys, I'm right here. I just have to I'm gonna share it. Um Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, hopefully Tammy um, can find that. I just linked it. So we're going to actually do uh, a black tag and a white tag. So uh, we're going to play with a couple different things. I did pre-gesso these with a white gesso and then a black gesso, just so you can see the difference between the two. Um, we're going to try some modeling paste on the base and over the oxides. Um, the oxides are a pigmented ink. It's a combination of the the dye with the oxidation properties in it. Um, and uh, so 
we are going to basically <clears throat> use three different colors because I wanted to stay um, with the same color scheme as the Graphic 45 Masquerade collection. So Yasmin, you're going to love them. Um, they are a little bit different to work with. So they, they are. One of the things we're going to do is we're going to start actually on the white tag with some texture. Um, and I've actually played with these with multiple different types of textures. Um, light paste, some texture paste, some sand paste. And different companies have different um, properties as far as the actual paste itself. So on this one here, we're just going to use a light paste and we're actually going to set it aside to dry. And I'm going to actually cover the whole thing up. I got to move some of these out of the way here. And I just want to show you how these oxides um, uptake or the with different types of mediums. So I hope Tammy found the link. Um, so this is just some light paste. Um, I just want to get a little bit more down here. Yeah, Peggy got to play with these two, and they are um, they are quite. Interesting. There is a little bit of a learning curve, I feel. Um, I just got to clean up my mess here. Okay, I'm going to set that one aside. And here is actually the template. The one I did um, at Maggie's house. I'm just going to wipe my stencil off here quick. Okay, so that one's set aside. Now we're going to actually flip to the black one. And there are tons of videos that you can watch on these. Um, so we're going to use the Broken China, the Wilted Violet, and then the Cracked Pistachio. And basically what I'm doing here is I'm just spreading some ink onto my pad. And we're going to grab a water bottle and just lightly spritz this. Because these do react with water. And we have our black tag. We're going to take that and we're just going to kind of... And I did... Um, Look at how cool that is, but I want to kind of spread it out. And then you do want to dry between layers. Now with this, I'm just going to kind of hold it up to dry it. Hello, Cynthia. It has been a long time. Oh, hello, Amy. Um, if it's if you haven't been to Ustream, it's a good social platform for, um, my link is not working. Oh, Yasmin. Okay. Yasmin's linking here. There we go. Um, it's a good social platform. There's a number of people that do um, live teaching. It's interactive. It's quite, it's quite fun. Um, Artist Live does, um, broadcast every Monday. Now, it depends on where you are located in the world. We have some European girls, so the broadcast time is about 8 p.m. I know Yasmin, who's in Norway, she broadcasts at 8 p.m. Um, stateside, where I'm at, it's at 1 in the afternoon, so if you are home during the day, that's, you know, that's a, that's a plus. But I'm just going to add some more. So I've dried in between my layers. Now, these will react to water, so if you want to use, um, Another layer on top. If you're done with the oxides, we do they they do suggest that you use a sealant. Um, Tim Holtz recommends his uh, oh gosh, what's it called? Um, microglaze. I was trying to think of it. Yes, that's what he recommends is his 
um, microglaze, and that's going to keep this chalky finish that we're all striving for. So look how fun that is. I think I want some more cracked pistachio on the bottom. Okay. Um, so, and you can get these in a bundle format as far as the, the oxides go. I'm going to heat set this. There's going to be a lot of actual low drying today, so I apologize. Yes, Cynthia, I'm a, I will show you the, um, for the people that kind of stepped in late, we will, I'll show you the three different sizes again because it is quite, they are quite large. So I want some more. So this is one way. Ooh, I kind of like that. Okay. Okay. So just to give you guys an idea, this is the uh, the large one, and the girls that scrapbooking with me, they have these in the store. So, but we are working with the medium size one. Okay. Amy, you'll, it, the, the inks are, they're, they're fun. They are amazing. Just let me get a wipe here. So you can layer them upon layer them upon layer them. So I think what we're going to do is we got some blue and some greens, the pistachio, the purple. I kind of like this. I think I want a little bit more up here. So I just want to, there, we're going to do the white tag a tinge bit different. I'm going to go a little purple. And if anybody knows me, purple is not my thing. But, oh no, how cool is that? So with these oxide inks, you're not going to get that blending of, um, to turn it into like a brown color. Yep, you got to dry between the layers. And they will react with water, so if you happen to um, use a spray that, and then want to water it down, it will react to that. So, okay. So I'm gonna set that one aside. I'm gonna make sure my paste is dried on this one. Yep. Keep piling the layers on. Um, So I got to make sure that this is completely dry on this one because we're going to use our daubers on this particular tag. Now these tags also come with a eyelet for up there so we can't forget to do that. Sorry. I'm just going to do my eyelid, reminded myself. I got a darker purple from these two kind of blending together. Okay. Oh, I cannot do alcohol markers, Amy. I wouldn't even know where to begin. So I give you kudos for giving those a try. Oh. Yeah, they don't recommend um, using the same pads on these in that if you do, just take a and kind of wipe it off. So I just got to make sure so that one's, I don't think that's quite dry, but we are going to, 
I had my wipes out for a reason. I was going to wipe off my table. Okay. Um, one thing that I wanted to show you all is um, different mediums have a tendency to bleed, so to speak. If you ever wash, wash a red shirt and then, um, Yasmin, I did not link this. I apologize. It was the Crafters Workshop um, Harlequin stencil. Only because I didn't know which stencil I was going to use, so I do apologize. Um, but certain mediums have a tendency to, to bleed. And um, like I said, washing a red shirt, throw it in the washing machine, you end up having pink everything. I have noticed um, it does give it a really neat effect. But we're going to actually um, try a couple, couple different mediums. So this one, I'm just using regular modeling paste. A little bit more goopy and uh, the thicker the layer the longer it will take to dry the less likely it'll have that bleeding tendency so I'm going to try to go thinner just for time con constraint here and you don't have to do the whole thing I'm just doing the whole thing to give you the idea See how it's already starting to bleed? You can see that bleeding through. And it's not even dry yet, and it's starting to bleed through. So, nope, Amy, this is just regular um, modeling paste. Many companies make it. I know um, Golden makes it. Uh, Prima 13 arts. I'm just looking to see all that I have. I got a ton. I think um, Faber Castell makes some. I just need to wipe this off. So that is another thing with the um, the stress oxides that you're going to have to be cautious with, especially if you're trying to get the bold effect of like a white. I actually was trying to get that effect and I still haven't been able to find a really good one so yes Tammy I I just gotta clean this off a little bit um, Olivia's in school so I don't have my little helper today usually she's my little my runner she usually drives things while I'm working on a next project but she's usually home for the night classes that we do so okay Sorry, I don't want to make anybody sick with my... Okay. Okay. So with now that we're on the back one, we are going to do some stamping. Just some, some dobbing. We're going to use the cracked pistachio again, along with the wilted violet, and along with the broken china. And there is no rhyme or reason to this. I'm just kind of putting it out there. I want my colors to somewhat blend and we're not going to do um, a lot of layers on this. We're actually probably just going to do one layer depending on how it shows, how it how it works for us. I just want to show you the blending and then that chalky finish that happens with these oxides. And then that'll give us our other tag some time to dry. Ooh, I almost dabbed the wrong pad. Okay. Thank you, Yasmin. I didn't, um... If anybody watches my Ustreams, <laughs> I kind of go, kind of do sporadic things sometimes. I don't always have a plan, and sometimes when I do have a plan, I variate from that plan. So, okay. 
Now, this is going to be gorgeous. And basically, I just want it to blend. And then we'll get that chalky, chalky, chalky finish. Okay, where, 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 where? Oh. <laughs> We're kind of mixing the colors a little bit. And a little bit more water on this. Mm, how pretty is that? Gorgeous. Once it dries, you'll kind of see that that finish. Um, and after the show is over today, I will take some better pictures and post them. So. I actually, Tammy, I very rarely use my 12-inch stencils. I really need to get back into the use, using those. Um, yeah, we'll dry this. Yeah, these tags are quite fun. It's a canvas in itself, really. I don't like how that's blending. Okay. Ooh, I like that color, that variation of color right there. And I like this color palette, and it works well with the Graphic 45. Um, yeah, Tammy, I didn't link all of the... I didn't know I was going to use Golden. That's the thing with me, unfortunately. I don't always use what I list. I, I add a lot of stuff usually. And I think the short links are the ones that aren't working right now is what I think Yasmin's having trouble with. Okay, so I'm going to set that one aside. Oh my gosh, look at how gorgeous that is. And my camera just does not do wonders on the color. So I'm just going to heat set this really quick because I want to add one more layer of stenciling over. So, Amy, the um, we do record these, and they are uploaded to the YouTube channel, the Artist Live YouTube channel. And then each of the artists usually will load it to their personal channel. Um, so you can always find it on YouTube uh, after the show. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Peggy. Yeah, I know. The live shows are fun. So look at how that bled. Look at that. That is so cool. But I still have been trying to get the effect of the bright white bold. Um, so this is something I have not tried yet. We're going to use some white sand texture paste. Um just to see if it'll bleed. And let me find... <laughs> see, here I go, grabbing stuff that's... I wanted a bigger stencil because we're going to use a texture paste. Um, it, yes and no, Amy. Basically, I wanted to show you that, guys, the background with the... 
difference um, with the oxides, we are going to be making a G45 tag with the Masquerade collection. So um, it, it's just giving you an idea of what possibilities can happen depending on the different mediums. Now, like the um, Creativations, Tim Holtz had said that these will these are these are water soluble, so they will um, bleed or they will reactivate with water. So he recommends using that fixident. Um, the only fixident I have is this fixident. So we're gonna. I don't even know if I'm gonna use it. So I'm trying to get the big bold white effect over the top, and I don't know if I'm going to get it. We'll see. I'm actually covering most of this up because of the tag. So we're just going to see if this bleeds through. We're experimenting today. As Peggy knows me, I'm just kind of winging it, so to speak. <laughs> okay. Um, are you creating along with us, Amy? If that's the case, kudos to you, girl. I don't think I could. <laughs> so, okay. So let's just see if that bleeds through. I'm not sure if it's going to, but we'll go back to this tag. We're and we're and we're multitasking. We're we're double tagging it here, just to show you guys the difference between. Um, so, oh, somebody else went to Scrapbook Expo last week. I hope you had fun. Okay. So this tag we're going to do, I already um, pre-cut a number of things only because you guys don't need to watch me um, detail cut. It's, you know, it's detailed cutting. Um, these distress oxides, because they do have the ink in it, you can use them to distress your edges. You can use your regular distress ink also to distress your ed edges. Hello Petra, how are you today? Um, and this is going to be a, a quick simple tag. Just because I wanted to... And this is using the 12 by 12 um, paper pack that I picked up um, at the store. And this is just the background one. And this tag actually came from inspiration from another girl that we were with over the weekend, Kathy. She had a more subtle tag that we did and I had a more bold tag. I'm a little bold. And so I figure the contrasting ones we will We'll play around. I'm just going to, and this is going to be, I'm just doing some simple layering. This is going to be my focal point. Oh, I'm so sorry about the blurriness. I'm not sure what's up with that. I think I moved too fast. I think I'm like Speedy Gonzalez here. So, and then we're going to basically just glue it down. Add some flowers, add some pretty details, and go from there. Um, people have a tendency to ask what glue I use. Uh, depends on the project. Paper, I usually just use the Eileen's Tacky Glue. Um, flowers and such, I use Beacons or Fabri-Tec. Uh, I'm just going to go. And this was from the journaling. No the M, uh, ephemera package from the Graphic 45 Masquerade Collection. And Yasmin is linking. Thank you. Oh my God, Tracy, what are you doing? Hi, Tracy. <laughs> Yasmin, that's, that's Olivia's friend, Tracy, who she paints with who will be live on Ustream tonight at, oh gosh, 8 o'clock Central Time. <laughs> I had to think about that. If you're into acrylic painting, <laughs> um, she does it. Oh, I'm upside down. 
And actually, Tracy was teaching a scrapbooking um, class where she's at. Oh, it's amazing who shows up to these things. <laughs> yes, Tracy's my friend too. We are going to England to see her and Andy Skinner coming up in June to take a class with her. Tracy makes me nervous. <laughs> okay. So, just gluing. That's all I'm doing. So, we're going to add some pretty flowers, make a bow, and then this tag is going to be very simple and very done. So, and, um, oh, <laughs> So it's I wonder what it's like on that end of the Tracy's usually in front of the camera, so um, I'm just adding some simple flowers. Um, just because of time, we're gonna just kind of pound these out and oh Peggy, these you all inspired me at our little weekend getaway. Um, these are just some spellbinders dies. Um, I actually have coffee today, and I don't normally drink coffee. Um, and I don't even remember what they were. Um, there are some links for some flowers, Yasmin, but I don't. If the links aren't working, then um, mm -hmm. Amy, I hope you join us again. That was, um, I'm glad to see you. I'm using some smaller ones. Flower arrangements, start big, work your way down to small. And we could get really fancy if we wanted, and, but this tag is, I'll, may, I'll add a little bit when we're done. Add some leaves. Anyways. I'm trying to watch the chat. Um, no, the dies aren't from Maggie's, although she has an umpteen million dies. They're just, they were from my stash. Um, I took the inspiration from Kathy's tag. And um, she had used just die cuts and a simple center a focal point right here. that's all she did I like the blending on the white I really do it's uh I did not do this part so I'm gonna do this part real quick and then <laughs> oh thank you Amy this is um we hope you come back there's okay let me just heat set this find my yes Maggie is amazing okay let me set this aside so <laughs> they are they are spellbinders dies without looking um, I would have to, I'd have to look real quick, but yes, Tracy is on at eight and, um, she does the mixed media acrylic. She uses, um, acrylics. She uses the deco art. Um, usually the fluid, the liquid. Okay. That is who my daughter paints with on, on Mondays. So, Okay. I'm so glad that Peggy's here to enjoy this. This was my scrapbooking, <laughs> National Scrapbooking Day. Bye. Okay, I'm just going to quick make a bow. <laughs> and I haven't done it for about a week, so I, I don't know if I can even do it. And I'm going to show you a trick with the bows. And this trick is from Yasmin. 
Um, <laughs> um, Tracy could link. Yeah, Tracy can. Um, I can link it. I don't think Tracy can link it. I don't think she's a moderator. Oh, she should be able to add links, though. Tracy, add your link. Okay. My bow, yes, my bow at all. <laughs> so, I use simple seam binding. This is a trick from Yasmin. Spray it with water. Scrunch it up. And this is where you get that. You could leave it delicate, but this is where you get that little um, shabby look. So I, I love the bow at all. I had my first experience last weekend and I had to buy it. So I know, crazy, huh? I just gotta wipe this off. Okay. Because we're gonna make a couple more bows for the other one. But. <laughs> I think I need to darken it a little bit. So, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my oxide inks. I have. Oh! Yes, Joanne, nice to have a husband that'll do that. My husband just finished the back patio stairs yesterday. So we're going to make our own color. Okay. And I'll have to dry that. There we go. Okay. I'm just tying a simple knot here. Okay. Simple, but fun. So let's move on to the black tag here. Um, it doesn't look like we've bled through too much, depending on how thick it is. It, the thickness, we did, we still did bleed. I'll put them side by side there. Um, yeah, I buy it by the 100, 100 yards is how I get it. Um, I use it a lot. I'm going to be using it now more because of my bow at all. I can't tie a bow to save my life. It... Okay. So I just want to show you on, on this tag here, I tried to get the bold white dots to pop up. And I used some 13 Arts um, modeling paste with that. And they still bled through. So I'm not sure if it's the oxide itself or if I need to seal it. And then, due to the water that's in the modeling paste and such, um, seal it and then try it. So that might be something that I need to do, try on my, on my next tag. So, okay. Okay. Yasmin is another one that uses a lot. So I already did some fussy cutting, um, just so you guys didn't have to watch. And I get a general idea of kind of what my tag looks like. If you watch any of my videos, I can be sporadic. So I'm going to... I do multitask. I multitask a lot. I've 
should see me clean my house. I forget which room I'm working on. Yeah, it did it did turn out pretty nice. I like it. Okay, I gotta move some of this stuff. So I am not gonna say I'm a pro at anything when it comes to these oxide inks because I think they're so fairly new out on the market. There's there's just so much you could do, I think, with them. Um, but I do suggest oh, they're they're fun. I would say pick them up. Um, they're fun to play with and kind of see what works well for you. So um, I'm basically just going to be doing um, a bunch of layering. I love layers. And um, we're going to use this, the masquerade. And I did cut, I wanted to frame this up a little bit, give it a little bit more dimension. So I did cut out a center. This is the um, ephemera also. And we are going to put some some tags on here, maybe, we'll see. So, okay, I, my layering process, people ask me about my layering process all the time. I throw stuff together. I sometimes think about it and sometimes I don't. So. I'm going to use this glue for this just because of the, um, the texture we have on here. So, and don't forget to join us next week. We have Tiffany on. Um, she, amazing. I'm sure she's got some beautiful project that she's going to share with us. Oh shoot, I put the glue on the wrong side. Yeah, we'll cover most of this up anyways. <laughs> and then I think Yasmin rounds out the rest of the month. Um, I think it's Tiffany and then Yasmin who's going to share a project with us. Okay. I'll just stick that down. We can tuck. Nip and tuck. Oh, I am not, I'm not sure why my camera's going blurry. I don't like that. So these are all elements that were um, found in the between the eight by eight paper pack um, that I picked up at the store and the 12 by 12. Um, I'm going to put that in the center. I actually Um, detailed cutting is, oh, yep, thank you, Yasmin. Yeah, the girls in the store, um, Tammy's amazing. So if you have any questions as far as where to get product, um, and then there is that 10% off if you use the HT10 code. This, I think it's for the month. I don't, Tammy might be able to correct me on that. Peggy, I get the weirdest commercials when I watch you stream. It's crazy. And so I have the, di I wanted the diamonds from this. And then this other, we got some stamps. We'll put tuck there. Uh, we're gonna go down here. Oh, we got some stars. I'm not liking. There we go. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So just we are quite done with the um, oxides yet. I'm going to show you one other thing that we can do with them. I'm just slapping some flowers on. Okay. So we have just some white paper blooms. I gotta put some more of this on. Some more detailed cutting. And essentially, I didn't have flowers to match, so we're going to make our own. And I'll show you what happens. The, the cool thing about this is the ink bleeds into it. And depending on how much of the oxide you get on your flower and how wet it is, the more it'll bleed. Um, I want to do I want to do some cracked pistachio. So when in doubt, if you don't have flowers to match, you color them and make them your own. My water bottle went through the dishwasher. It's kind of warped. Um, let's do a couple. I want to pull more blue out. There it is. When I show you the pictures, you'll be able to see it better. Oh, thanks, Tracy. Yeah, I'll see you in a couple hours. <laughs> Olivia has to clean her room, though, before, um, before the show. She's, uh, yeah, she's got to clean her room. That's one thing that girl has to do. Mondays. Look at how perfect those match. Um, thank you, Tracy. I want to thank Yasmin again for moderating today. And then thank you for the girls at Scrapbooking With Me for um, sponsoring the show today and giving us the links and then also the 10% discount. Um, any girl likes a discount, especially when it comes to getting your supplies. So I want to thank you ladies again. And I'm just basically doing some fillers with the smaller flowers. So with my flower arrangements, I always work bigger to smaller. And then we will use our little details, our chipboards, to fill in any open spaces that we might see or need to kind of cover. So we have these elements here that we can kind of tuck in and expand our focal point. So oh, let's put that one somewhere. Okay. Oh, thank you. It's been an honor. It really has. Okay. Dreamer. Go right over. Okay. 
my glue is sticking to my fingers. Okay, I gotta look at it though, because I have to look to make sure. Okay. And one more. Oh, where did my seam binding go? Not sure. I lost my other piece I had cut. I'm not sure where it is. And I'll confess, I am not a bow maker. I'm not a bow at all expert. I just learned last weekend. So, so but I am going to actually do a couple bows and kind of snug them in between each of the flower arrangements and then also on top. So what's my time frame look like? I'm doing good. I'm going to make sure that's centered. And I will probably dye these. Um, what color do I want to dye these? I think maybe purple. Oops, sorry guys, I didn't realize I was off camera. Um, I will dye these purple. I have to think about it too, so. <laughs> the slowest crafter? Ask Peggy. I, I kind of, I'm a speedy Gonzalez. I think it's because I might have OCD or ADD or I'm not sure. One of those abbreviations, undiagnosed. So there's another little bow. So I am going to dye these and then I'm going to tuck them in. Like I'll probably tuck one in here maybe and then this one on top. I gotta trim the legs though or the um, just like this one has a couple of them kind of tucked in to add a little bit more flair to the flower cluster. So um, yes we we create for an hour um, sometimes Amy we go over an hour depends on the project um, and, but otherwise, we're here every Monday. We do post um, our projects, usually the Tuesday after the show for the following week, and we'll advertise. So you can always like our page. Um, I had to trim those. You can always like our page and um, follow follow the artists. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna spray. I'm guessing at the color right now, guys. Whoa, that's bright. We'll try that one. That one's better. Shoot. Okay, get rid of that one. <laughs> I just grabbed some spray. Obviously not the right color. Okay. Put the other one away. So I'll add these bows, but um, I'll, I'll add those off camera. So let me flip the, oh gosh, wherever you can create is a happy place. That's all that matters. <laughs> oh, Peggy, you're funny. Um, and yes, Tammy, I always recommend that you pull something off your shelf and use old stash so you can always make room for that new stash. So let me flip the camera. And try not to get everybody sick. Okay, <laughs> so um, I will finish the bows on this project. So this is the project we did today with the different type of mediums on the bottom. Um, I think my next one I'm going to do with the oxides, I'm going to spray the fixident to seal it and, um, and see if I can get that bold yellow or that bold white to pop out. I don't even know if I'm on camera. I'm not even watching. Oh, kind of. Let me fix that a little bit. Okay. 
this here was the template so and then my white one is somewhere where did what did I do with it um oh here it is okay so these are the two template and then the the white one so more of the blending in the background and then that one so okay another ad yeah there's a lot of there is an app that um, you can download for ad free and um, I'm not sure if Barbara Patrick was on she has she knows the app but um, otherwise Thank you, Peggy. I want to thank everybody for stopping in today and watching. Um, don't forget that uh, there is a coupon for 10% off the store, um, Scrapbooking With Me. And there's the Facebook store and also the online store. They have a blog, too, for inspiration. They have an amazing YouTube channel that um, tons of videos, um, pretty much anything and everything. Artist Live is every Monday. Uh, next week, Tiffany is going to be um, showcasing, and then Yasmin, I think, finishes out the month. So um, both ama amazing artists there, too. Um, so if there's any questions, you guys can find me on Facebook. And, um, and actually, I'm going to stop the recording. Yes, thank you, Yasmin, for moderating. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give away these two tags. I'm writing down a couple numbers between how many people we got. 12 people. How about 1 in 25? So once I stop recording, um, I'm going to say go, and then you guys start um, rattling off numbers. Okay, so I'm going to stop recording.